Today we are going to be looking at the concept of smart GPT and how to use this in your own workflow and your own code. So what exactly is smart GPT and can it make GPT based models smarter? Well, the idea is to implement self critique or self reflection. So the GPT based model are going to think about the answers that it generates, self critique them and come up with better answers. This idea was presented by Philip in one of his videos. So Philip has an amazing YouTube channel called AI Explained, and I would recommend everybody to check it out. Okay, so the question is, how does Smart GPT works? So Smart GPT employs a multi-pass process through an LLM instead of a single call. The first step in the process is called ideation. The second step is called critique or self-reflection. And the third one is called resolve. So let's look at each one of these steps in a lot more details. During the ideation steps, multiple calls are made to the LLM using the same prompt provided by the user. So normally when a user asks a question or provides a prompt, the LLM generates just one response and that is shown to the user. However, during the ideation phase, we are going to have multiple passes of the same prompt. So let's say the user can select n is a parameter and we will make n calls to the llm and based on the n calls the uh, llm will generate n different outputs which are called ideas now the theory is that if you set the temperature high enough there are going to be variation among the responses generated by the llm the next step which we call self-critique or self-reflection so basically the LLM evaluates all the ideas that it has generated so far and tries to find possible flaws in each one of them. And based on it, uh, its assessment, it tries to pick the best possible answer among the answers that it has generated. The last step, which is called resolve, the LLM tries to improve upon the best idea or best answer that it has generated so far. And that is going to be the final output of the LLM. This approach builds on top of the chain of thought prompting and seems to improve the output from the LLMs, especially for the prompts or the questions that involve uh, logical reasoning. How do you use this in your own workflows? Well, if you're already using Langchain, you're in luck because Langchain recently implemented a new chain called Smart LLM Chain. But there are a few things that you need to remember before using a smart LLM chain in your own workflows. The first one is that the LLM will use a lot more passes compared to a normal implementation. So for example, if you select n equal to three, it will make three calls to the LLM uh, during the ideation phase, then another call during the self-critique phase, and one more call during the resolve phase. So the cost is going to be higher than using normal prompting the second thing to remember is that it's not going to work with all types of llms the underlying llm has to have self-reflection capability uh, smaller models often don't have that ability and the third thing to keep in mind is that the underlying llm uh, needs to be able to return just a single output not multiple outputs Okay, so with all this in mind, let's look at a code example of how you can use this in your own projects. Okay, so for a code example, we are going to be using the code provided by Langchain, and I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process. Now, in order to test this, here's the prompt that I want to use. So the initial prompt was, if it takes one hour to dry five shirts in the sun, how many hours does it take to dry 30 shirts? And then for added context, I said, all shirts are the same type. Assume there is enough space for all shirts and all other factors remain constant. Now, the initial answer from GPT-4 was that it's going to take around six hours. So it basically what it did was it calculated the rate of drying based on uh, five shirts. That will take around uh, 0.2 hours per shirt. And then it uh, simply multiplied that by 30 so to get an answer here. But then I said, there is a logical flaw here. Do you think you could figure it out? And GPT-4 was smart enough that it says that, okay, yes, you're right. My apologies. The drying time for the shirts who should not be directly proportional to the number of shirts, right? 
and then it figured out that if it takes five shirts to dry in one hour so irrespective of the number of shirts it will take one hour assuming that everything else remains constant that it would take one hour uh, to dry 30 shirts given all the condition remain constant and there is enough space to lay them out for drying right so here we are using gpt4 okay so first uh, let's look at what packages do we need so we need langchain openai tick token and then there's another package called langchain experimental so these are different experimental features that langchain is implementing then you need to provide your openai api key specifically for this uh, case we're using uh, openai's models All right then you need to import a prompt template a chat openai model and then from the exp langchain experimental uh, package we are importing the smart llm chain after that we are setting up our question so we're calling it a hard question and here's the prompt that i showed you that i used with gpt4 and then we're setting up our prompt template so we provide the hard question as a prompt uh, for the llm again uh, here we're using the gpt 3.5 turbo with a temperature of 0.3 you can set it to a very high value if you want more variation in the answers that it produces okay so first i wanted to experiment with the default chain so i define uh, llm chain and use this specific llm that we define then provided the prompt and set the verbose to true when i ran this chain so here's the answer it says if it takes one hour to dry five shirts then it will take one fifth hour to dry one shirt right and then basically it simply multiplies that by 30 and gets to an answer of six um, hours if you assume that they are being dried independently then this answer is correct but if they are being dried uh, simultaneously and there is enough space airflow and everything then it should take around one hour okay now let's see how you can set up your smart llm chain so you need an llm then the prompt then the number of ideas that you want to generate or number of uh, times you want to run the same prompt through the llm so in this case uh, i'm setting n ideas to three but you can set it to a larger number now keep in mind that it's going to be making that many api calls so if you set it to a high value uh, it's going to cost you more next we are simply running that chain so basically if you see here it is generating three different ideas so this is idea one uh, it comes up with a whole bunch of calculations and the answer is six right so idea two again another computation and it comes up with an answer six then another idea is to find the answer we can set up the proportion right so again very similar calculations and it answer it comes up with again the same answer uh, which is six hours now after the ideation phase uh, there is a second phase called critique so this is basically self-reflection where the model looks at the answers that it has generated uh, and see if it can flaw, find any flaws right so for example let's look at the first idea so it says that the flaw in this answer uh, option is that it assumes linear relationship between the number of shirts and the drying time and then it goes on to say uh, it assumes that if it takes one hour to dry five shirts then it would take six hours to dry uh, 30 shirts However, this may not be accurate as the drying time may not scale linearly as uh, the number of shirts, right? Additionally, uh, it doesn't consider any uh, potential limitations or constraints that may affect the drying time, okay? So it basically tries to uh, critique whatever it came up with. And for the other two ideas, it has a very similar critique. And the model is thinking that uh, it was not considering all the different factors that could affect uh, the calculations now during the resolutions uh, phase it looks at all uh, the three answers and tries to improve upon the best answer so it says after analyzing the three options it is clear that none of them provide a comprehensive and accurate solution to the problem however i'll provide an improved answer that takes into account potential limitations and constraints in the drying process when drying a large number of shirts at once and then it goes on and talks about different factors that uh, can affect the drying time uh, but here's uh, the interesting uh, part actually uh, it says that it is necessary to uh, consider the drying capacity 
of the drying area. If the drying area can accommodate all 30 shirts without an over, any overlapping or uh, obstruction to airflow, it is reasonable to assume that the drying time would be similar to drying five shirts. So if you think about this answer, it kind of got the answer uh, what we were looking for. And then it says if the drying area is limited or in size or airflow, it may take longer to dry all uh, 30 shirts simultaneously. So if you look at this, uh, initially, the uh, answers that it has generated now, it's simply critiquing them and trying to come up with a much better answer. Now, I uh, ran the same prompt through GPT-4 using the smart LLM chain. However, in all these cases, it came up with the same answer of uh, six hours. And even the final answer is uh, six hours. But then again, it says, however, due to potential uh, variable mentioned earlier, it is important to consider that it's, it's an estimate rather than exact figure. The actual drying time could be influenced by changes in weather condition, how shirts are laid out for drying, drying and uh, material of the shirts, etc. Right. So it does uh, critique some of its answers that it has produced. Now, a couple of other things that I want to show you during this video. Uh, so, so far, what we saw was we were using the same LLM for all three different steps. However, you can use different LLMs for different steps. For example, for the ideation um, phase, we're using GPT 3.5 in this case. And then uh, for the rest of the two uh, phases, we're using GPT 4. Now, uh, ideally, you want to use uh, an LLM with higher temperature. For the ideation phase so that there is a uh, variation among the responses that are generated by uh, the llm uh, but for the subsequent critique and um, resolve phase you probably want to use uh, llms with lower temperature now here is another example in which i'm defining different llms for uh, all three different stages and if you see uh, for the ideation phase i have a temperature which is really high probably around something 0.7 is uh, uh, the best value. Then for the critique, you want to use um, a lower temperature. And for the third one, which is the resolve phase, I'm using a temperature of 0.0, .0 right? So this is different setups that you can uh, use with the smart LLM chain. It's a very interesting technique uh, that forces the LLMs to self-reflect on its answers before generating the final answer and it could improve the performance in certain use cases. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know different applications that you can use this in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.